Hey you, my name is Marnie and from here on out I am going to be your very own personal wing girl. It's my job to give you the no BS honest truth about what women want versus what they say they want. And I put up new videos every Monday so please keep an eye out for my videos. In this video I'm going to share how to talk to women when you approach them so that your conversation sparks attraction versus coming off as super creepy. I'm also going to give you one solid example of how a guy talked to me that instantly had me feeling butterflies. So keep watching. How much importance do you place on the specific words you use when talking to women? If you're anything like most guys, or the guys that I work with, my guess would be a lot. That's because men tend to be more logical and pay attention to the content of what's said, whereas women are more intuitive and focused on the context of what's being said. In other words, how you say something is way more important than what you say. Us women are paying attention to things like your tonality, your body language, your sense of style, and dozens of other things that we're not even consciously aware of. And the reason we do this is because it makes sense from an evolutionary perspective. We know that it's much easier for you to deceive us with your words, but it's much harder to hide the truth with everything else that you're doing. And when a guy approaches us, we instinctively want to size him up as quickly as possible to see if he's worth our time or not. So if we only focused on what words he's used, we'd waste time by ignoring what he's really saying to us without his words. Let's use a recent success story from a student as an example. So here's what happened in his own words. Marty, I had to share this crazy but true story. I can't believe this worked. So. I'm out and I see this very beautiful woman. First thing I do is I do the glance at the ring figure. There's nothing there. Check. Done. Then I approach. I walked up, I introduced myself and then said, if I would realized earlier that you were more beautiful than a falling star, I'd have caught you a while ago and put you in my pocket. Yes, I know. It was a totally corny one-liner. Um, now, Marnie, I've been practicing, not worrying about what happens next, just having a blast. Long story short, I got her number and an instant coffee date, which led to a date for later in the week. I never really understood it when you first said it to me, but after getting more into your method, I finally realized what you were talking about. It wasn't so much what I said, it was the attitude behind it. Yes, I had a Marnie-inspired epiphany. Okay, so what's your impression of the line he used to approach this woman? It's probably the same as mine, and you probably think it's super cheesy as anything, and you'd be 100% right to think that, but that's the whole point. There's nothing special at all in what he said, and if he hadn't been having fun with it, Chances are he would have completely bombed it. However, she picked up on this vibe of confidence and having fun, and the fact he wasn't saying it to impress her, but because it was a genuine expression of what he felt in the moment, it totally worked for him. So if you're watching this thinking, wow, now you've got a magical new opening line to use, that would be a huge mistake. Again, it's not about the words. It's about what's going on behind the words that are really important. The how, not the what. I really want to drill this into your head because it's so important. If you were to line up 10 guys in front of me who all deliver the same guaranteed panty dropper line, I know with 100% certainty that my panties would only drop for a couple of them. One guy I want to pounce on instantly and make sweet love to him. Another guy I want to punch in the face or just run away from him. And I'm sure there will be at least one or two that I'll want to befriend and make sure no woman ever hurts them. Even though they're all gonna say the same exact words, I'll hear them differently based on how and who is delivering these lines to me. So how do you learn how to say things to women so that your words ignite attraction versus get you a direct ticket to creepy town or the dreaded friend zone? And I'm going to tell you that in just a minute. But first, I wanna share another story with you story that will put all this into perspective. It's also a great example of how to escalate a conversation with a woman from friendly to flirty in under 60 seconds. So I was at Trader Joe's the other day and started chatting to this guy in the veggie aisle. You know, typical, right? This guy was probably five foot nine, not overly attractive, but had a very nice smile. Uh, he dressed well, and I remember thinking, God, this guy seems so comfortable with himself. Not at all in a cocky way, but in like this really calm way. And he was obviously trying to flirt with me, and even though I'm taken, I was fine with a little healthy flirting while shopping for my produce. So after about two minutes, he looked at me, smirked, and said, you do know I'm flirting with you, right? And he said it just like that. You do know I'm flirting with you, right? confident, proud, clear, and 
amazing. When he said this to me, it instantly sent shivers running through my body. I stumbled for a second and said, yes, it's very clear that I have someone in my life, but you know, thank you for this. Um, I left feeling wonderful and thinking, I have to write this down so I don't forget to share it with you because how he talked to me was perfect. The outcome of the story would have been very different had he said that same exact sentence like this. You do know I'm flirting with you, right? Do you see how different that sounds? Well, to experience it from the female point of view, magnify that difference times 10 and you'll feel what we feel. So now the question is, how can you learn to talk the way that this guy talked to me? You do a little something I call engaging in juvenile dysfunction. And here's how it works. For the next few weeks, your goal is to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, just like a little kid. Kids are so free. They scream at the top of their lungs. They move their bodies and faces so freely without caring about what they look like. They say anything they want because they can. And for the next few weeks, I want you to act just like them. Free, open, comfortable, and not giving a damn about what other people think. And you do this by doing at least three of the following things. All right, number one, break out into dance in the middle of the street for 30 seconds and then continue walking like you don't care. Number two, say something to someone random that makes no sense to them, but only makes sense to you. Like, I love it when bumblebees sing happy birthday. Just random. And then again, just keep walking. Number three, break into song on the subway or in an elevator. Just awesome. Number four, blast the music really loud in your car and just start singing. And when you start to think, oh, someone's watching me, get even louder and more animated. You can do any variation of these, and I'll give you bonus points if you can share in the comment section below other things you did to show you don't care what other people think. These exercises are meant to push you out of your comfort zone in a safe way and get you more comfortable with you. And you'll realize nobody cares. If anything, they like it. And I know you're probably thinking, Marnie, all of this sounds great, but how the hell is this going to help me talk to women? It's going to help you because as soon as you get out of that sticky head of yours and just say, screw it, that's when women will notice. Doing this will help you be more comfortable with you and in turn will alter how you talk to women and how they see you. Instead of stressing over what to say when you approach a woman, you're much better off focusing on how you feel when you approach her. And if you feel freaking good and comfortable and full of life instead of dread, we're going to feel that. And it's going to tell us more about you than anything that you would ever say to us. Because when it comes to creating deep, powerful attraction that makes us go weak in the knees for you, it's not so much about what you do. It's about who you are. Guys who understand this about women are incredibly rare, which is why the few who do get it also have tons more sexual options that they can handle. And that's what I'm here to help you with. If you've been confused and frustrated by women, not sure where you're going wrong and why you just can't seem to get it right, then I can help you. I've put together a free 45 minute video that tells you exactly how to project to women that you are a man of value without changing a single thing about you. Not one single thing. Once you've watched it, I know you're gonna be eager to put my suggestions to work immediately. Just click the link below in the description box or go to thewinggirl.com. Remember, finding the right girl doesn't have to be hard when you understand what women really want. Let me be your wing girl. Go watch my free 45 minute video by going to thewinggirl.com. I'll see you next Monday.